Welcome back. If you're new here, hi, I'm Jess. Um, today I'm going to be reacting to a new girl group and specifically one that comes from a company that's never really done girl groups. Or, well, they did, but well, we all know what happened the last time I did a girl group. Someone turned into a stalker. <clears throat> Let me just get my drink and sip that quietly. What am I doing with my life, really? Today I'm gonna be reacting to Le Li Safim Fearless official music video. Now this is a K-pop girl group that comes from Hybe label. So if you don't know what Hybe is, I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing it right. That is Big Hit's new company where they've engulfed most smaller companies. So I uh, Sorry, I hear the ice cream truck in the background. One moment. Are you done? If you could enter the woods today, you're gonna get a surprise. They were gonna see if they can make it. Okay, we're just gonna have to keep going and have it in the background because it's just gonna take up too much time. Um, I also forgot to say. Do you like my dress, guys? It's so cute. Hold on, let me show you. Cute, cute. Look, it's cute. It's cute. Oh! Try not to show too much there. Oh! Um, but yes, I'm really nervous. Like, I really, I'm just so nervous. Due to the fact of... Big Hits tried this before, like, back in the day, and we kind of figured out what happened there. So I'm really hoping that they're going to be good. I'm really hoping that they're just a single girl group and they're not tied in with BTS. I'm sorry. I like I love BTS, but not every group needs to be tied into them, okay? TXT is more than enough. Uh, although I would actually like a sister group with BTS. Not going to lie, because I feel like that would be a great twist to have a brother, sister, and the main group. But whatever. So yeah, without further ado, I'm just going to stop talking and nervously get into this video and hope that it goes well. Oh, so scared. God. I can't. I thought you wanted to press for play on record. I can't. Come on, don't be a pussy. You've got this. Let's do it. Okay, nice. Cute. Ooh. What you, what you looking at? Oh, okay. Okay, just pause. Okay, I am in love. Do you want to know why? Do you want to know why I'm in love? Because I can hear different vocals. I can actually hear different vocals. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. That I can hear different vocals. I can actually hear each of the girls sing. <sighs> Hallelujah, heavens are rain down. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm <laughs> Basically, oh, yes, okay, 
this is good, this is good. I am loving this video so far. First of all, the sass with the mm, 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 hair flips. Yes, I'm all about it. Secondly, love the outfit choices. They're so not over the top. I love it. It's like they're just wearing sportswear, for God's sake, and it still looks good. And now I can see someone wearing a corset. Like, I don't know their names, unfortunately, but I love it. I, I love it. And I love the scenery dance because it's more set in one place and you see a few transitions here and there. But it's more set in the studio, which I like. Cute, simple, classic. Black and white, nice purple colour here and there. Great. But I just can't get over these vocals. I really can't get over the fact that there's actually a girl group where you can hear the vocals. You can hear each one sing. And I'm fucking just mind blown. I'm just spitting over myself. I'm that. <laughs> I'm that excited. They're all so beautiful as well. And I think some of them even have, might be from... Now, they might all be from Korea uh, per se, but I feel like some of them are from other countries as well. Maybe, I don't know, I maybe it's just that English has a hint of an accent to it. Uh, it might be that with all K-pop groups where they kind of switch a little and they try and speak in English. But anyway, besides the point, love, love, love it. I am so excited. Let's continue. <laughs> Ooh, cute, sexy, love it. Yes, jump for this guy. Yes, oh my God. Surfem. Surfem? Do you think I'm fragile? No, Sir Femme, I don't. I like it. I like their vocals and I like the style choice that they have going on right now. And I don't care what anyone says because I'm fearless. I'm fearless, that's why. Mm -hmm. So fearless. <laughs> but no, you know, I think I think I might work, I might want to join their group. <laughs> I think I could rock it, you know, with the mm -mm -mm, I'm fearless. Yeah, 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 I'm fearless. Hair flip, hair flip, hair flip. I'm fearless. Mm, 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 mm. Sassy. Okay, there is one point that I do want to point out, which is probably going to get them in a lot of criticism. Now, the thing they did on the floor, the sort of like booty jiggle thing, I love it. Fun. Great way to spice it up. However, I don't think that that's going to be reciprocated well in their natural state of origin country they live in because Korea as some know are very very sensitive when it comes to modesty that's how it is every country has their own roles and rules that they want in place they want people to follow go for it but Korea is very very big on modesty and making sure that most groups don't have that sort of too much of a sexy vibe we know how it gets reciprocated when girl groups specifically go out there and start doing something that's a bit more erotic or a bit more scandalous, to so put it. Boy groups, they can do it and they don't really get penalised that much because that's good. It's like, oh, they're showing off their tops and they're having fun and they're doing this and that. I mean, there are some groups who do get criticised for what they wear and what they do. But girl groups are so much more harder 
because if a girl group steps out on stage and they're wearing something and the fans do not like it because they think it's being too sexual or other critics, uh, criticisms of Korea do not like it, they will destroy you. They will try and destroy you because that's not how it rolls. It's not how it goes. So I can guarantee already they've had backlash on that. But for me, I love it. As someone who kind of understands Koreans wanting to have the sort of the like the nice quaint sort of vibe where modesty is a big thing for them i love it it's cool however as being a western i love that sort of thing because it's just showing them that they are human they do human things they don't just stand there like a robot and be like hi i sing and i dance and i cannot show any bit of skin and if i do it has to be a little because i'm going to get penalized for it like I love that they're pushing that boundary, but then that's big hit for you. They always like to push the envelope in that direction and kind of like push. I mean, for me, I don't think there's anything wrong with it, but I can guarantee there's going to be haters out there who's going to be shitting on that girl group just for that one thing, and that's disgusting. Yes, but if you guys did enjoy, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also, ding the bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. And maybe even leave a comment down below saying your opinions on this. Tell me what to react to next. Or just even saying hi. And I'll try to respond to them as much as I can. Just sip my tea and be quiet. Anyway. <laughs> it's not even tea. It's bloody water for Christ's sakes. Oh yeah, in my BTS cup. I know it's a girl group, but it's still BTS. <laughs> um... Yes, I will be signing off, guys, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!